Go through that route, the UCHL route, and four seasons the minors, half a season this year. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, anytime you take the long route, as opposed to the short one, you learn to appreciate where you're at and learn to be a little bit more grateful. And with the injury that I had last year and not getting a chance to sign with uh, with anybody in the, in the off season, you know, to, to have to go sign a PTO down in Charlotte and kind of prove your prove your health and prove that you can still play. Um, you know, sometimes it just takes a little bit longer for some people. And, you know, this was a situation that they gave me a, a chance in the minors with the team, and they gave me a chance here. And, uh, you know, you, you're definitely a little bit more grateful for your opportunities. You know, and I, it reminds me, too, that you probably look back even at the ECHL thing in Idaho and you say, you know, a hockey win's a hockey win because, like you say, that gratitude thing kicks in and you realize every experience is a good one. Yeah, you know, that East Coast was one of the funnest years I ever played, and one of the second funnest was actually this year, starting in the minors. You know, sometimes just playing at different levels, it's still hockey. Yeah, hockey's hockey, and it doesn't change. Obviously, it's a huge blessing to play in the National Hockey League, and, you know, you, you want to cherish every moment, but you never know where you're going to be, and you've got to make the most of all your opportunities. Good way. And knowing you're going to be a backup here, how do you keep mentally sharp? How do you... Uh, be prepared for when you're going to be able to play. Well, I think you take a little bit of a look at the schedule and you try to, you know, predict where you where you might get your shots and you build your practices around that. I mean, you have you're not going to be able to go, you know, hard every single day and, and grind it out. But you want to have your days where you can kind of be a little bit loose, be a little bit fun, and, and maybe be a little bit of a clown for the for the guys and get get their spirits up. But then there's other times that you have to put your your work boots on and, and prepare yourself. What did the defense do especially well tonight? I think one of the best things we did was blocking out, blocking shots, clearing rebounds, communication. I mean, we really didn't do much wrong tonight defensively. We, we played very, very well. We limited our turnovers. When we did have any turnovers, we had great back pressure, uh, you know, we had, you know, great, great angles. I mean, you look at our whole defensive game tonight, it was phenomenal.